Hi everybody, today we're going to talk about one of the most incredible products D-Link has ever made. Hi everybody, and welcome to another episode of D-Link TV DIY. I'm Mike and I'm here to help you get more out of your network. So here on D-Link TV DIY, you've heard me talk about 802.11n wireless routers. You've heard me talk about digital picture frames, and you've heard me talk about storage. But now we've got something really cool. All three products in one. This is the DIR 685 Extreme N storage router. So let's go ahead and look at some of the basic functions of the DIR 685. As you can see here on the side, there's a little door. You can open this up and take a laptop hard drive and slide it in here. This is a serial ATA drive, so just go push it in until it's all the way seated. And then that is what you would use for your network attached storage. Now, while I wait for this to boot up, let's take a look at the back side of this. Now, most of our routers come with one USB port that's used for share port, for sharing USB devices over your network. But the DIR685 has two. That'll come in really handy. It also has gig ports, so it's super fast on the wired side. The wireless side of this uses the same exact 2.4 gigahertz 802.11n as our DIR655, which has won a lot of awards. Um, and then on the front side here, you can see that it's booting up. When this gets finished, I can walk you through uh, the different features that are available in the UI. So as you can see, Right when it booted up, it detected the hard drive that we installed. But um, I don't want to take it through the, the hardware installation part right now. So I'm just going to select no using the touch sensitive little buttons here. And then you can see on the screen that this first one here is frame channel. This is where we'll get our RSS feeds and you can upload uh, digital pictures to it. You can get statistics on the router, the, the, the wireless signal strength and different things like that. Um, you can do WPS for connecting, um, you know, say a laptop or another device. Um, and then this is where you would actually configure it. So everything is done right here on the, um, you know, uh, picture frame part of it, or you can log in and use the web-based UI. So um, I'm gonna go more in depth into setting up and configuring the different, you know, major functions of the DIR 685 on different episodes. But that's going to do it for this week on D-Link TV DIY. I'm Mike, and thanks for watching.